हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन विश्रुति मैम इजी या हेलो एवरीवन हाय सो वी विल स्टार्ट टुडेज लेक्चर बट बिफोर दैट आई टोल यू इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैड डन चैप्टर नंबर टेन इन चैप्टर नंबर टेन वी हैड डिस्कस अबाउट the three organs of government legislature executive and judiciary right organ number 3 judiciary we are not studied in detail we will study this topic in chapter number 11 but remaining two organs of government uh, first one is legislature and the second one is executive we have studied in detail in chapter number 10 lok sabha rajya sabha require qualifications for the membership of lok sabha rajya sabha minimum present numbers of member in rajya sabha and lok sabha that is known as quorum then when will bill become an act these all are including in legislature legislative assembly legislative council also including in legislature then president vice president functions and powers of president qualifications for president then governor these all are including in executive that is second number of organ of government right today we start chapter number 12 part civics chapter 12 indian democracy students please complete your fair note because mostly within one week uh, your book checking will come so i hope your all book is well done okay please complete your five book with full exercise uh hello friends <clears throat> at the last of this video i will give some questions chapter wise so in all the chapters you don't need to write all detailed question answers from the exercise only the questions what i called you talk tell you that you write in your fair note okay you should write only that questions this scheme only for the detailed question answers otherwise one mark short notes then explanation of the sentence or statement that all are you have to write all the questions but in detailed questions only you write what i tell you in today's lecture okay so now we start the chapter number 12 indian democracy as we all know india is a democratic country so in this chapter we discuss about our democracy our country's democracy how is our democracy we discuss in detail india has the highest number of voters in the world population wise india is the largest democratic country of the world this amazing democracy is more than 6 decades old during this period in india there has been many political upheavals and up and downs the indian democracy is sustained due to the dedication and insight of its citizen 
we shall study in detail the characteristics feature of indian democracy most last 60 years se zyada our democracy is amazing because we have a large highest number of voters in the world or more all we know the population wise our country is largest democratic country in the world so first we discuss about election in democracy what is process of election how is it all we discuss in detail so election in democracy in the world many countries have democracy in spite of democracy there exist differences in governance of these countries most of the countries in world have democracy still difference difference governance of this country in democracy a voter caste is on what the right to vote remains the same in each democratic country though the country's governance may vary most in democracy a uh, voter caste is on what right so right to vote remains same in every democratic country still country's governance may vary so democ- democracy thrives through the voting process of the voter during the election in our country has a parliamentary system our country has parliamentary system so parliament is the national institutions representing the people what is parliament parliament is the national institutions which representing the people of country that parliament of india consists of the president vice president rajya sabha and lok sabha as we all know that right because we discuss in chapter number 10 as mentioned in earlier chapter rajya sabha is upper house and the lok sabha is lower house the state has the legislative assembly some state of legislative council also and a voter is at the center in forming a rajya sabha lok sabha legislative assembly or legislative council a voter is center in the forming of rajya sabha or lok sabha legislative assembly council etc in our country all the governing bodies are elected through voting like uh, our pm elected through voting cm chief minister prime minister all the governing bodies all the post of government are elected through vote thus democracy is realized by election topic number 2 democracy and water a person who give the vote in election that is water right ye jo person election mein vote cast kar raha hai that is known as water water is a very very important in democracy because democracy is a realized by election and in election a what casting doing right so what cast is done by water so water is very very important in democracy our country has universal adult suffrage that means a person of 18 years of age or above who is enlisted in the water list can cast vote otherwise not if any person who is a uh, year of age 18 or more but is not enlisted in water list 
then he cannot cast what for the cast vote he have has to enlisted in the order list it is compulsory a person who has not declared bankruptcy or <clears throat> is not mentally unstable can vote without any discrimination the constitution guarantees a right to vote even amidst illiteracy poverty and many similar issues the system of universal adult suffrage is based on the principle of one person one vote that means one citizen can cast only one vote not more than one it is the duty of every citizen to vote without greed or fear and a voter should be aware and vigilant of his right means every voter have the all the information and all the evidence about the voting and he should to vote without any fear the constitution has provided a right to vote to each of its citizen without a discrimination of caste creed religion or education in voting system caste religion is not matter voting is an important process in democracy in our country there is universal adult suffrage so voting is a right as well as duty of citizen every vote voter should exercise the right to vote uh, mostly citizen don't like to cast vote so that is not good every citizen has a duty to cast vote so they all should exercise the right to vote voting is right as well as duty of our okay duty of citizen here we complete the two topic first is uh, election in democracy and the second is uh, democracy and vote uh, in the topic of democracy and vote important point is 18 year of age uh, please underline some point please students underline the points a person of 18 year of age or above a principle of one person one vote voting is right as well as duty of citizen and other points like uh, every citizen to vote without fear then constitution has provided right to each of citizen with, without discrimination of caste religion okay mm, this four, four to five points is important in this topic now we are moving to the next topic election the foundation of democracy election is the foundation of democracy a festive environment is in seen during election that means uh, at the time of election we like uh, we see like a festival environment right uh, the people can evaluate the representative during election then any person who has the prerequisite to contest election can do so Uh, during the time of election we all see the mo- mostly people can evaluate the representative and a person any person who has prerequisite to participate or contest in the election 
एंड हॉल एनवायरमेंट लाइक वन फेस्टिवल राइट कैंडिडेट्स बिलोंगिंग टू द पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज एज वेल एज इंडिपेंडेंट कैंडिडेट हु डू नॉट बिलोंग टू एनी पॉलिटिकल पार्टी कैन पार्टिसिपेट इन इलेक्शन a person who has the prerequisite right to the contest election is either belong from any political party or independent candidates do not belong to any political parties in an election the winning candidate of any party or belonging to the coalition of parties came to the power in democracy only with the support of people one can reach to power because voting is done to by people in our democracy parliament is the apex body and the basic fund foundation block is a gram panchayat so election are also held in institutions of self government like gram panchayat taluka panchayat district panchayat candidate in this institution of local self government are chosen through election in democracy all the governance body is elected by what election so normally gram panchayat taluka panchayat district panchayat Uh, like self government government are also chosen by election so election are the conducted in municipality election are conducted in municipality in town and municipal corporation in cities so election is a lifeline of the nation democracy please underline this point election is the lifeline of the nations democracy this is important for the examination next point election are very important for the political parties as well as candidate election is the barometer of democracy please underline this point also this statement is most important for the examination in your paper a uh, question like uh, explain the statement or give reason election is the barometer of democracy so you should uh, write in detail okay election provides an opportunity to voter to evaluate the contesting candidate election uses in new political setup or political waves uh, it gives a picture of country's social and economic environment decide the future of government and contested by the political parties independent candidates as well as coalition of the political parties in parliamentary democracy the party or coalition of parties having a majority of winning candidates forms the government and comes in power what obvious this is all we know ki in democracy a government choose by public through what you voting system in voting system uh, from the public uh, what can can cast and then majority vote uh, said that said is came in power right who is party a party having majority of winning candidates forms the government and comes in the power so the power is obtained as well as maintained by the support of the people because uh one time power is obtained but uh, till the, the next uh, election support of the people also maintain because in next time if people can cast vote to our 
then also same government is remain stable but if public support the other party in the next election then this government is not continuing in next in future so power is obtained as well as maintained by the support of people so support of people is most important factors in democracy election being soul of democracy it is essential that it is transparent then public opinion in democracy public opinion in democracy we have a democratic country the candidate who wins the election represent the people in representative system the ruling party would like to regain and retain its power regain and retain its power to regain and retain its power it becomes essential importance for the political parties to connect with the public to maintain and run the government it becomes essential to consider the public opinion and thoughts for the framing policies or for various question pertaining to many problems because uh, one time you choose as a government uh, through public but then if you not listen to the public then in next election the public cannot cast vote to your party so after becoming a government it is essential to consider the public opinion and thoughts for the framing policies or for the various various questions pertaining to many problems public opinion is highly essential for the political parties representative and organization so it is most 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 important right public opinion is the most important for political parties representatives and organization collective public opinion is extremely important that means very important in democracy strong and organized public opinion is very important in our democracy malfunctioning of the government can be presented through the public opinion strong and organized public opinion that means a public opinion is most important is important but is or her vote is casting without any fear that is most important so public opinion help in creating such a condition that the government cannot afford to misrule or neglect the country this is the benefit of democratic country what public opinion help in creating such a condition where the government cannot afford to misrule or neglect the country is one is the benefit of democracy i let an intelligent public that keeps itself informed cannot be misled by the government various medium in the modern times have proved to be very important in creating public opinion so let us obtain detailed information of this medium so next topic medium of public opinion formation in democracy we will start in our next lecture now i show you some questions which are which will you write in fair book because in starting this video i told you that all the questions of detail answers you should not write in your fair book so in chapter number 
you should write all the three little little question listen brief questions and mcq question like questions all the questions you have to write but uh, questions in detail you should not write all but in chapter number 1 only three questions are there so you should write all these three okay then chapter number 2 you write the question number ha one discuss the process of establishment of colonies in west europe asia and africa this question you write in detail then explain the factor you write only the head points of the factors not in detail detail informations you read two to three times and learn but you should Oh, uh, you do not need to write. Okay, not need. Then second effect of First World War. So in this question, only hard points you should um you need to write, not in detail. Okay. Then chapter number eight. See students. Ah, uh, I give you some relaxation. in detail questions right give so, uh, some question in some questions you need to write only head points and only topics not in detail so now your turn you also support me you complete you should complete your fair not at that time and regularly okay so in chapter number 8 Uh, explain the statement all are not important uh, i take the questions which you not need to write uh question number 3 preamble service compass uh it is not important so not need to write then you read and learn but not write okay it is cam it will come in examination a but it is not right wait a just minute wait please question number 3 ha huh, exactly i repeat question number 3 and question number 7 explain the statement question number 3 preamble serve as a compass and india is a integral and indivisible federation this two statement is not that much important that one that's why you not need to write in fair not but that doesn't mean that this type of questions will not coming in your paper that is relaxation for the fair not only then the question is the okay a uh, remaining all is important but ha uh, uh, question number 4 indian constitution is the inclusion of federal unitary this one is also not need to write okay so question on uh, chapter number 1 2 and 8 now you will complete your fair not and question chapter number 9 and 10 with the question of this that chapter i'll give you in next video so here we complete our lecture okay goodbye everyone i hope you all are regular in your fair not okay goodbye everyone goodbye uh, wait 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 uh, last point is that uh, in today's homework uh, nothing related to chapter number 12 but the common homework please please complete your fair not okay complete your fair book is today's your homework nothing else okay 
now finally goodbye everyone